Uh, a reader, I mean a viewer, recently mentioned berberine, and I started to say, look, I've already done a video on berberine, and um, then I realized, no, I've done one on bergamot. Um, and as I said in that video, I'm not giving up my, my uh, metformin uh, and just going with bergamot protection alone. I did order some Earl Grey tea. Um, it has bergamot in it. That's the flavoring that you see. But berberine is something very different. Um, it was originally used in China, has been used in China for a long time. Uh, it was, it's used over the counter for uh, bacterial diarrhea and has been discovered to have a significant impact on glucose. How significant? <clears throat> Are you ready to give up metformin like uh, some people, my viewer? Uh, we'll talk about it in just a minute. Uh, this is Ford Brewer with PrevMed, heart attack, stroke, disability prevention. Um, <clears throat> and today we're talking about berberine. It was originally made from rhizoma, Coptidus, but that was too expensive, so now they've gone to a bunch of other different types of plants. Uh, I'll show you a picture of the plant in a few minutes. Um, as I said, used in uh, China over the counter for, uh, di for di diarrhea, bacterial diarrhea, until they noticed in 1988 when they were treating a lot of bacterial diarrhea that it actually decreased blood sugar. Now that's interesting. Now, how much good science is out there? There's some. Um, and what does it say? Well, first of all, what does it say about mechanisms? Uh, well, this, the mechanisms appear to be jumbled up. I mean, similar to metformin, you, with metformin, you don't know if it's just decreased uh, ability of the, of, the sh of the liver to create glycogen or if it's uh, cellular sensitivity to insulin or if it's gut biome or or maybe all or certain combinations. With berberine, it, it, there's activation of AMP uh, uh, activated protein kinase. Uh, there does appear to be enhanced insulin sensitivity. Reduced, uh, they saw reduced weight gain in insulin resistant patients and decreased hemoglobin A1C. Um, it lowered uh, fasting insulin. It did not appear to increase insulin's uh, secretion, except in certain types of patients uh, with uh, more advanced diabetes. Um, it did appear to have a potential islet cell, you know, pancreatic islet cell or beta cell uh, protection mechanism and uh, decrease triglycerides. Well, if you decrease blood sugar and hemoglobin A1C, you're gonna decrease triglycerides. Um, I would remind you to go back and look at my um, video on the HDL over triglyceride uh, ratio. If you have increased blood sugar, you chew up your HDL and you uh, have a lot of triglycerides out there. Um, so another uh, um, fairly academic, uh, fairly rigorous article, again, reference, again, it's, um, there's more work to do in this area. Uh, <clears throat> as I said, I was going to talk a little bit more about the plant uh, sources. There are several. Maybe the most popular appears to be uh, uh, Golden Seal. Our golden seal is used as a, uh, it's known as Barbary. Uh, if you're a plantsman here in the United States, you may have seen this. As you can see, I don't have color graphics, and I know I get a lot of grief about my graphics. This is a yellow plant, green, uh, I mean a yellow flower, green um, leaf, and a bright red berry. Now, um, it was hard to find a picture that showed the flower and the berry at the same time because usually the berries form after the flowers have dropped off. Now, <clears throat> here's the thing. Is it a go or no go? 
Well, some sources say it's as effective as metformin. And as I mentioned, my viewer mentioned he's using it instead of metformin. Uh, Yen and, and Associates in August of uh, 22 said they actually got a two-point decrease in hemoglobin A1C. And it appeared to be a fairly rigorous clinical trial. Um, that's comparable, and they said that's comparable to metformin, at least in their experience. Now, I would like to see more, more clinical trials around it. Um, other sources say it's, it's uh, unproven. Um, here's the thing. If you're looking at cost, it's actually uh, more, more expensive than metformin these days. You can get metformin for free from a lot of pharmacies, like um, I think Walmart Pharmacy provides metformin for free. Uh, how about me? I'm going to try it. So uh, you've got some, you can make a case that it's got level one evidence because uh, there are clinical trials around it. Um, I don't think, again, I think I'd like to see those in a better state, but still I'm going to try it. What am I going to do in terms of uh, metformin? I'm not going to drop my metformin. What I will do is start, uh, is continue to monitor my glucometry, my blood glucose levels as I start adding this. We'll see where it goes and uh, hopefully I'll remember to give you a report. Thank you.